Well, I'm glad I'm not ready to build anything yet because it looks like it would be a good idea to let the veneer uh, roll it out and then weight it down and let it lose some of this curl that it has. Uh, there's, I guess there's a couple of things to learn about veneer and uh, I think in my last video I said I, I'm no expert on veneer and I'm just getting into it, but it's the possibilities for design are limitless because you don't have to worry about expansion and contraction the way you do with solid wood. So I am going to try to roll these out so we can get a better look at them and it's just, I think I'm going to have to get some kind of a weight. Well, you saw that I wrapped the five pound weights with some a bubble wrap with the craft paper on the one side. That works great as a weight to hold the veneer down. This is white ash and this is Italian zebra wood. And it's really beautiful stuff. It can be a little daunting because you, when you work with material that's beautiful, you don't want to make a mistake. So it's one of those things where you really want to think about it. Right now I'm planning to use the zebra wood and the white ash on the same project. So I've dampened the rag a little bit just to see how big of a contrast that's going to be. I think it's going to look really nice. I mean, it, I guess it depends on the design, but this is the first step. I just wanted to take a look at this and, and now start thinking about it. <laughs> 